That's it. Hold it. This morning uh, I am out on a, a bit of a record hunt slash gear trading thing. I've got the Love Pedal Twin 60 with me. Just I, I mean I like the pedal. It's really good, great boost. But if I find um, a fuzz that I uh, like better, uh, I may trade the Twin 60 towards uh, the fuzz. Now as far as the vinyl hunt is concerned. The other day I discovered that my Santana Abraxas copy was a 1985 reissue. Oops. So uh, I do know where an original Abraxas is for $3.99 and I will probably pick that up in a few moments. When you're buying vinyl they really leave it up to the consumer to do the legwork on the, you know, what pressing it is, what condition, things like that. If it's a good price, the guys who own these shops participate in some shady activity. Generally, anything that's good that comes through the door, they immediately put on the internet. And the only things that make it onto the floor are you know just your very common records and things so whoa so you know a lot of the good stuff never even makes it to the public we're going to run over to c137 studio and uh work on a little bit of the mixing for um music from the eagle nebula uh, it's a slow process but we are working through it stay tuned there's probably going to be some cool stuff on the vlog uh, this week. Like, subscribe, tell a friend, uh, listen to a record, play guitar, uh, experience life, you know, leave a comment, say hello. All right, let's get on with the vlog. Holy crap, did I come out. First pressing, Dark Side of the Moon, mint. Woo! I just bought a white album for 20 bucks. That was a reissue. Crap, because guess what? Just got a numbered version for $15 in much better shape than the one I just bought. Shit. I probably have this at home, but this was in such great shape presence Achilles last stand is on this and man is it badass this thing is minty $12 an original Led Zeppelin 4 with the pecky uh, in the dead wax the pecky duck or whatever it is um, this is way better than the one I have this is killer 
U2's first record, War, with, uh, I mean, it's original, and uh, it's got Sunday, Bloody Sunday on there, badass. Little Blind Faith, you ready for this? Stones, Let It Bleed, original. And last but not least, Sergeant Peppers, fools, Sergeant Peppers. Oh man, I left some stuff behind, and it will not be there um, when I come back. And it, it, but I just spent a grip of money in there, and some of this stuff I could not leave it out. The Let It Bleed, holy shit, that's a good record, and it is inexpensive. And it was the first press, and the dark side of the moon, and the um, everything I got was just unbelievable. Anyway, yeah, school. Yo, Bob here, <laughs> going to the guitar shop. Just ran into Mike from Rock and F and Roll uh, YouTube channel, and he's here with his friend Evan, and they had some really cool gear. I would show it to you guys, but. Not today. Uh, we got to keep moving. You know how it goes. What's up, Bob here? Um, just uh, taking care of some laundry. Just got done doing here and uh, whatever. But remember, after you wash your clothes, to check the dry, uh, washer and dryer for picks and whatnot. See what I mean? I just found two uh, Jazz 3 XLs. One's a prime tone. Uh, oh. <laughs> and a pedal. New pedal day. The JTM from Love Pedal. That's right, folks. I'm back on that Love Pedal thing. I can't stop myself. s and S. The deals are just too good. Bam. The JTM. Oh, can we... Yes. Ooh, the black... 2017 version 
This looks too cool. This is like a JTM 45, if you know what that is. It's a uh, amp most uh, made popular by Eric Clapton on the Blues Breakers album. Hendrix used a block label JTM too. That was really uh, cool. I'm not going to duel this against anything today. Let's just plug it in and see how it sounds. I think that would be cool. Thank mm -hmm. you. 